Racing is really, it's a skill set combined with engineering. You can keep on getting better and better and refining yourself, and I think that just has a lot of appeal to me. I'm Naveen Rao. I'm Corporate Vice President and General Manager of the AI Products Group at Intel. As a neuroscientist, I actually use racing as a metaphor because it actually encapsulates everything that our brain does in a sense. We take in information from our visual senses, our touch and balance, all of these things together, integrate them into a model of the real world, and then execute movements that allow us to move through that world. The connection between racing and AI is actually pretty straightforward in a way. There's a sense that when a technology really takes off, it fades into the background. It just makes life better in some way, right? We don't really think about you know, why an engine in a car works, but there's 50 years of engineering that went into making that thing as reliable as it is. The same kind of thing will be happening here. AI is exciting, there's a lot of people debating the ethics of it. Uh, once it really starts to take hold, which is still early days, it'll fade into the background. It'll be capabilities that our computer or our phone has that you just take for granted. It's already happening. As an intelligent species, to coordinate and process more information, derive deeper knowledge about the physical world than we could before. There's no way we could do this without better tools. We can't approach the more difficult questions in science that'll allow us to build things that approach the speed of light and go to the stars, these kinds of things. We'll not be able to solve those problems unless we have more advanced tools. And now I think it's becoming clear that AI is that tool. It's that tool that allows us to see into new kinds of data sets and find new insights that we simply couldn't do before because one human simply could not process that much data.